How you doing? And thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, trucks, bicycles, tricycles, and SUVs like this night's 2021 Ford Escape, the brand new model, the most current model, the shiniest model with the funny new grill. If you see some of the older Escape videos, you used to have a real nice flat spot on the top of the grill where you could mount some lights. They changed that in 2020. Uh, also put some real fancy new headlights in as well. Um, but this particular grill, it's a little difficult uh, to mount. We're mounting our Lin 6. And if you're careful when you drill the holes, you can mount the Lin 6 with the included foam gasket, just like we did here on the outer edges. It's basically in the second slot, uh, the outermost solid panel of that honeycomb type grill. And uh, what we do is you drill a hole in the center and you drill your pilot holes for your mounting screws and you very carefully screw it in and it snugs down quite solid against the grill. The wires are easy to get to from underneath the hood on the back side of that front end area. So it's a very clean, very simple install to do um, on this particular one. I will include some photos at the end of the video of the grill and the pass through. On these 2020 and 2021 escapes, I haven't found a clean way to go through the firewall yet. So we are running the wire right through the side jam and we're using our headlight seal tape over the top of it. I'll show you a picture of that at the end of the video as well. Uh, it works good for now and it's a very uh, solid, secure location. Doesn't have anything to do with the door hinge or any rubbing or anything like that. So. I'm going to use that on this model for now for simplicity because, as you can see, most of the time when we get these SUVs, they're uh, a simple, easy package for a civilian engineer or something along that line. So there isn't, really isn't a whole lot of wiring to run. Um, we have our battery feed, our ground, and our front light trigger. So it's three wires. Uh, it's not like we're passing a ton of, uh, ton of wiring through there. We've used a split pattern. That's our 75 FPM split on these lights. Uh, you could also alternate the entire light left and right in the front if you prefer. Since there's only two lights on these builds, fairly simple. I just did a split pattern. Also, there is no high speed warning uh, for this particular vehicle. Um, the, the rear is where any of the warning for, for high speed would come into play uh, exiting on or off the highway. Um, so, you know, we did do the wicked stick forehead. You can see there in the back window uh, up high, nice in the back. And that gave him all the warning you could need in the back end of this particular car. Fits the customer's needs quite nicely. Well, that lens six has a really nice linear lens. So it's really good at displaying that light all the way across 180 degrees on the front of the vehicle. You can see here we didn't lose any light effectiveness going to about a 45 degree angle here. We also raised the camera up about five feet height right now. And the light is mounted on the car at about 20 inches. So that light spreads the optic and the output up and down quite well as well. also. You can see here as we're approaching 90 degrees from the front tire area, you can still see the light from the grill quite nice. It is also in part due to the fact the grill kind of wraps around, so I'm not going to lie, that grill's on a little bit of an angle already, which helps the light dispersion around the corner. So I think the Linear 6 is a great solution for the front of this particular model of car. We have it in all kinds of colors. So if you're EMS or your security and you need green or red or blue, or perhaps you're a funeral service and you need some purple. That Linear 6 light we have in all the color combinations you could want. So we can do this package in a variety of different things on the front. Alrighty, got the flash on, got the ISO up. I'm gonna show you what I was talking about. Right there, underneath that headlight seal tape, uh, you can see there's a plastic grommet from the factory and it does come out nicely uh, behind the dash in there if you fish your hand way up in there. and by going forward and tucking behind that foam right there on the inner fender, as you can see, you can come out right underneath the hood. And as I said, the door opens and closes just fine. And we use this headlight sealing tape here on top just to shed any water down and over. Uh, we also put a little bit of RTV and we poked a really nice hole in there. So it's nice, clean, tight, watertight seal. Um, have no issues at all with doing it this way quick and easy way to get into the cabin of this truck uh, the SUV um, And as I said, I may revisit later and, and come up with a solution to permeate the firewall But at this point, this is fast effective and easy and works well 
Now, on these 2020s, also, not a lot of room for switches. Um, you can see here, everything's curvy. Everything has stuff behind it. Um, so we just went with something nice and easy here. And that's right here. Try and get you a little better shot here. There you go. Okay. You can drill a three-quarter hole. You can mount switch right there above the headlight switch. We went ahead and put a nice label on it. Um, it's a fleet vehicle, so a variety of people might be driving it. And we activated it off battery power from underneath the hood with a fuse right there underneath the hood. So it's nice and safe, and they can use the lights with or without the vehicle on, because, of course, there will be times where they need those lights when the vehicle's off, I'm sure. And I know I've shown this in other videos, but I never get a kick. I always get a kick out of it. It never gets old. Ooh, reflective. I dig these door labels. Very cool. They light up awesome. It's just turning the flash on and off on the camera. It's not a magic light up label. It's just reflective. Uh, and as you can see, it works quite well. If your company needs some nice door badges like this, hit us up with your design. Uh, if you happen to be in here in our shop, we'll go ahead and put them on and take care of it for you. Uh, so if you need any kind of vinyl like this, we can take care of that as well. Alrighty, around the back here, as you can see, we've got our slick stick, our wicked stick forehead. That's an amber white product for now. If you wanted, you could probably squeeze the six head variation in there as well. We went with the forehead for this client because it suits the needs. Nice and small, discreet, and we mount it right to the hatch itself. This particular client is okay with the wire passing right from the hatch down into the trim panel in the back. As you can see, the light stick is mounted to the hatch itself. It does raise with the hatch, but that's okay because this, uh, for this vehicle's use, that's not a problem. And we ran the wiring right from the left, tucked it underneath the trim panel, carried it forward nice and cleanly. Alrighty, as you can see there, we just used a in-house quick 90 degree bracket. Uh, I'm going to attach some pictures of another install where we actually did the six head light stick. And uh, we did that one a little different. We slotted the plastic and we ran the 90 degree bracket under the plastic and out um, both brackets fabbed up in house unfortunately not for sale uh, but uh, they're very easy to make and you will need to make a bracket of some kind if you want to install it the way we did here tucked up real nice and tight it was a simple l bracket as you can see there's a little bit of a gap i think we use a two and a half inch screw and it is very critical where you put the screws there once you pull that panel off you'll see what i'm talking about but this is really not that complex of an install uh, if you look at see right where my screws are that's uh, a kind of where you need to be you might push the screw level actually down just a little bit more towards the hinge if you wanted uh, and as I said with the wire we just went ahead and tuck it right here behind the trim panel and then when the vehicle door closes it goes in nicely and it's out of the way if you wanted to you could also run the wiring all through the factory here underneath the headliner if you want to go through the work just depends on what the customer is okay with and uh, how many hours you have in the particular job there's a little zoom in shot right there for you of where we put our brackets of course focus might help right nope okay it's not gonna focus there you go so you can see we just use a nice self-tapping steel screw with a uh, decorative collar on it and that was able to do it and i'm going to clean up and wipe off those little uh little marks you can see there that kind of showed me where my backer was uh the little red pen marks i'm going to get rid of those before i return this to the client all right, here we are back outside with the cabin closed up. Shines through the window quite nicely. As long as you keep the window free, all the dirt and debris, you should be good to go. Uh, thank you again for watching. Make sure you check the description of the vi video for all these particular products. I mean, there's only four products. The Wicked Stick, the Lin 6, the Switch, and the Fuse Holder. Uh, so this is a pretty easy build to replicate, um, except for the brackets in the back. You will need to fabricate those brackets in-house uh, wherever you're at. So we'll put all the links in. We'll also put them up here in the upper right-hand corner with an eye probably popping up right about now. And you can see all of the information right there on the upper right-hand corner and uh, get all the links to everything you need. So thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. Keep in mind, we have other videos. We have a whole website full of stuff. So if you haven't been there, check it out. And uh, this is a nice example of what you can do with a 2021 Ford Escape. If you like it, awesome. If you want to see me do something else, drop a comment. Let me know if uh, you think that I messed it up. Let me know that too, and I'll try to straighten it out. I just do the best I can, and I thank you all for watching my video. So see you on the next one.
Wicked Warnings. Twenty twenty one Ford Escape.